The white shark doesn't seem to have too many natural enemies. Sure, some orcas will hunt them on occasion, but otherwise they are pretty close to top of the food chain. There are many creatures on the menu, but it seems to be generally accepted that the diet shifts as the sharks get larger. When great whites are younger, their diets consist of smaller fish, cephalopods, and rays, but once they get larger, they start to shift to larger marine mammals. A variety of different seals, dolphins, some whales, and large fish. But the bigger ones do seem to focus on the mammals. As a study examining the diet of white sharks over different ranges put it, quote, Cephalopods were also important to the diet of small sharks, specifically unidentified squids. With increasing size class of white shark, there was a marked increase in mammal prey for all calculated diet indices and a corresponding decrease in telost, elasmobranch, and cephalopod prey. So as the sharks get bigger, they don't eat squid as much, which makes sense. Bigger sharks need more calories, and squid just aren't very big. Or at least, most species of squid aren't that big. Sometimes you come across questions and discussions online that you have to look into a little more. And trust me, I realize the question probably became popular more due to the fact that the great white shark and the giant squid are popular animals in the media. But after looking into it, there is actually something to this question. Now, the title is Hunt Giant Squid. The thing about giant squid, or Architeuthis, is that when they are sick and dying, they tend to go up to the surface to die, and then float. According to Australian Geographic, this is due to the ammonium ions in their cells. If a great white came across a giant squid carcass floating on the surface, it's hard to imagine it not eating the dead squid, or eating some of it at least. Of course, it's a predatory shark, but pretty much any predator will scavenge a free meal. But what I want to know is, do the white sharks hunt some Architeuthis? To answer this, there are a few things that I think have to be taken into consideration. The first is range. The good old Carcharodon carcarius has a reasonably wide range around the world. This map from the IUCN shows where they are known to be resident in blue and where they could possibly be in yellow. It doesn't include Ireland and the UK yet, but it covers a decent amount of the world's oceans. Then if we compare to a giant squid, we can see that they have a similar but broader range generally. Though found a bit further north, the wide range of the two animals means they certainly do overlap. There's an issue though, and that is we are comparing 2D maps. We have to think about this in the third dimension, in terms of depth. It's pretty common knowledge that the giant squid lives in the deep, but what about the white sharks? I've been recently reading a book called Great White Sharks, The Biology of Carcharodon Carcarius, which is basically a big collection of different research papers. And in chapter 11, temperature, swimming depth, and movements of a white shark at the South Farallon Islands, there is a section where the authors discuss how they got a white shark to swallow a piece of bait that had transmitters and depth sensors. And they discovered that the animal's mean swimming depth was 23.5 meters, 77 feet. 77 feet sounds pretty deep to me, but that's kind of a joke to a giant squid. We don't know the exact depths at which giant squids reside, but most sources estimate somewhere between 1,000 to 2,000 feet or more but most sources have the minimum depth at about 1,000 feet. But to be fair, that was just one great white we looked at. An article published in 2023 looked at how a variety of different predators make, quote, regular excursions from near surface waters to the twilight, 200 to 1,000 meters, and midnight, 1,000 meters to 3,000 meter zones. And yes, this includes white sharks. The paper comes with some speculation that they were going down there to feed. 
on what, I wonder. There definitely seems to be potential for some overlap. The estimated population of Great Whites is usually between 3.5 to maybe 5,000, give or take, but the estimated population of giant squids are in the millions, and again, with a very wide range. So encounters seem somewhat likely. Could a Great White make a meal out of an Architeuthis? I don't see why not. Now, sometimes this question is framed as more of do these animals battle or do these giants fight? But I think the shark has the edge and that it would be the predator in this situation. I feel like we sometimes overestimate the size of a giant squid. I did a how big video on the giant and colossal squid, but even though they exceed the total length, of a great white. Great whites can be much heavier, with big white sharks getting up to something like maybe 2,000 kilos, which is 4,400 pounds. But big giant squids are much closer to about 300 kilos, about 660 pounds. And there is always the chance that the sharks encounter sub-adults or even juvenile giant squids. Although the opposite could be true too, I suppose. You've probably heard of how sperm whales and giant squids battle, but it's really more that the whales predate on the squid. Of course, one of the ways we know this is because of the sucker marks found on the whales, but I imagine it's more of a last ditch defense rather than the giant squid going out and looking for a fight. But the main reason I'm confident that the white shark certainly has the ability to hunt and eat a giant squid is because there is another shark that we know does prey upon giant and colossal squid. And that shark is the southern sleeper shark, and probably some other sleeper sharks too. As stated in an article in Deep Sea Research called Antarctic Jaws, Cephalopod Prey of Sharks in Kerguelen Waters, sorry for pronunciation, sleeper shark is a fish with sperm whale-like feeding habits and, hence, the second top predator known to science to rely significantly on giant squids. And white sharks, as far as we currently know, are larger by overall mass. Sleeper sharks might get longer, but right now, white sharks are known to be larger. Although, some size claims of some sleeper sharks are pretty incredible, but not yet verified. Yet. Sleeper sharks certainly deserve their own video, but what about the great white? Well, I'm sure the comments are already coming. Blah blah, speculation and theorizing. No real evidence. Well, that's not entirely true. Remember we said about the sucker marks on the sperm whales? There was an article in Nature in October 2020 called Evidence of Interactions Between White Sharks and Large Squids in Guadalupe Island, Mexico. White shark fans have probably heard of Guadalupe Island, as it used to be a popular spot to go cage diving and see the sharks. Now, what these researchers found were scars on white sharks that came from large squids. At least 14 sharks were recorded in the years 08, 2012, 2013, 2017, and 2019, and the scars were mostly on the head and trunk. Most of the sharks were males, adults and sub-adults, and in some cases an individual male would be seen with scars and then a few months later was photographed with new scars. So this wasn't a one-off occurrence. And also remember when I asked why the sharks go so deep? Well, for the sharks in this area, the article states, although feeding is not documented, the vertical movements of white sharks in deep waters have been identified as potential foraging behavior by diving at average depths of 442 to 498 meters, which is about 14 to 1600 feet. That's all great, but what kind of squid caused the scars on these sharks? Well again, if we read the paper itself, it said, Even though the cephalopod species could not be confirmed, observed marks from all analyzed sharks 
could suggest an encounter with taxa such as the jumbo squid, the neon flying squid, or the giant squid. Now, we should be cautious of the confirmation bias here. Maybe it was the jumbo squid or the neon flying squid, but I think it's promising evidence. Let's say all these scars are from jumbo squid. It still shows that these sharks will go deep to hunt some large squid. I can't imagine they turn up the opportunity to eat a giant squid if that opportunity arose. And putting everything into context, it seems like that opportunity probably has arisen multiple times, considering the amount of time they've shared the world's oceans. Now, to be honest, when you read about white shark diets, you usually read about marine mammals, usually seals, and the article in Nature was kind of a novel discovery. But, on occasion, I think it's very reasonable to say they probably do hunt giant squid, and maybe one day we'll even get to film it. Thank you to all my members and patrons, and thank you very much for watching.